a little brotherly and fatherly love will help today when Canadian beach volleyballer Josh Binstock and his partner Martin Reeder take to the sand just over there, I guess, at Horse Guards, the most beautiful venue of this place. A uh, little family connection here. I had to introduce you to these people because they're the talk of the beach volleyball venue. This is brother Aaron. This is dad Howard. Want to show that off proudly, get the Certainly. full accreditation. Thank Thanks for much. coming in. Our pleasure. So proud of your brother. But I have to ask, first of all, what's with the hockey gear? <laughs> well, uh, actually, one of Josh's friends came up with the idea, and then uh, he shot around an email saying, hey, we got to make sure that Josh and Martin know who we are in the stands. So we decided to put a, a hel hel hockey helmet theme together, and, and here we are. Everyone's loving it, stopping us, taking pictures. You're the talk of the venue. I mean, it's been everyone, all the articles talk about the Canadians and the hockey gear in the stands, and I, it must be a real boost to him. He is a hockey player. I mean, it was before he moved into this, right? So there is a connection, right? Oh, yeah. He's played uh, hockey all his life, and uh, he, he did play with uh, Michael Camilleri and Rafi Torres, so it's helped him in his game, uh, both physically and mentally. Well, I was going to say, he brings a, a hockey mentality. Aaron's going to do all the talking, right? You're nodding there. <laughs> That's he, okay. a, he, he brings a hockey mentality to the sport, doesn't he? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, he's been playing all his life, right? So he's, he's had lots of challenges and he's been in lots of important games. So this has helped to prepare him in beach volleyball as well. All right. Now, listen, you, this is a fun thing to see you alone because I have been watching. Last night, you were just behind us uh, here in Trafalgar Square. We have some pictures to show you of this. Usually, Aaron travels in a pack of, of like a whole hockey team. Yeah, and and they're not here with you. Are they sleeping it off? Aaron? I think they're still sleeping. Uh, they continued the night last night after the game, and uh, I think they made they may have stayed up a little too late. Uh, they were supposed to come here, but they, they will be there tonight, no doubt. All right, you were having fun there. It was like the royal family portrait. It was just amazing. Everybody taking pictures of you. It was great fun. It was fun. It really was. Uh, they bought they bought those masks on the street, and then of course more people wanted to take pictures with us. So it was really funny, and they actually had them on at the game too. So. All right, hockey mentality, mental toughness. They needed it last night because they played Brazil. And Brazil, the world champions. I watched Brazil play against the Czech Republic earlier on in the first match of that. I mean, they are amazing to behold, uh, the, uh, the Brazilian men. Gave them a good match, though. They did, and Brazil is actually one of the favorites to take the gold here. And one of the players on the team, Ricardo, is actually has three medals already from previous Olympics. He's like a wall. He's like he, eight feet high. He's incredible. But Josh and Martin played an unbelievable game. They were so close and just one point gone their way, maybe here and there, and they could have taken it. So even though they lost, they're still in contention. And this is kind of a, an interesting part to beach volleyball because they go into something called, I mean, it doesn't sound very flattering, no. <laughs> but it's called the Lucky Losers. And they play in the Lucky Losers today. Can you explain to me how that works? Yeah, so the way it works is the top two top two teams in each pool move on to the round of 16, and then the top two third place teams move on as well. So the bottom four third place teams, which is where Josh and Martin fall, they have to play this lucky loser match against one of those other teams. That winner then goes on to the round of 16. All right, so fingers crossed, do you know who they're playing at this point? We don't know who they're gonna play till probably about 10 p.m., which is an hour before their match. 10 p.m. That gives Team Canada lots of time to get, um, shall we say, prepared, prepared for the cheering. They can recover from last night and get set for tonight. Well, we're going to have to spend our day looking for tickets because uh -huh. it's been really hard finding tickets. So we're, we're hoping that somehow we can find tickets. You don't tickets. have tickets for this? We don't have tickets. Oh, no, I can't even help you out at all with that. All right, well, hopefully you'll be able to. But don't buy them from a tote because you'll be in trouble. That oh. is very, very frowned upon here. Okay. Anyway, just, just encapsulate what the beach volleyball venue has been. You, we, we can't show you because it's out of here, but it's it, within horse guards where the Queen's guards are normally based, so the most historic of sites. And in the middle of this, all this sand from Canada, you know, the sand comes from Canada, oh. interestingly enough, and it's just got the most electric atmosphere. It is by far. I mean, I haven't even been to another venue, but I've seen a lot on TV, and this has got to be the best venue ever. Just walking there, as you mentioned, to, to see all the horse guards and, and everything like that is incredible just to take in the view. And then once you're in there, 15,000 people screaming, cheering for my brother and, jo and uh, Martin. It's incredible. It's something I'll we'll never forget. <laughs> and leading the charge, Captain Canuck and Dad, even though you didn't get didn't want to talk. It's good to have you here. The, the whole family support. You. Go, you know, think about Canada winning the gold there in Vancouver. Maybe it could be. It could be. We're still not out. All right. Wear that helmet proudly, and it's been great to spend some time with you. Thank Aaron you Binstock, much. Dad Howard, cheering for Josh against, well, we don't know. We'll find out tonight when he and Martin Reeder compete in beach volleyball. Thanks, guys. Thank you.